Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this CAS module. It comes from BMW X1. It is here because I diagnosed the car. This car doesn't want to start. He start to crank the engine, but after let's say half second, one second, it just stop cranking. Uh, this is uh, also another problem when you have no crank, no start, or let's say little bit crank and no start. You have two possibility. I do have another video. I don't know if this one will be first one or the second one with the same problem on different car. What happens if the car doesn't start? Of course, you have uh, most of the time when you hear like small crank. This definitely is not the, the starter. It can happen also, but most of the time it is when this car have problem with CAS module because another 12 volt is controlled from here from CAS. From pin 22 is this one the biggest one okay the second one up here and another situation when the car doesn't start it's pull contact on the plus will come from alternator and will go to carousery and everything I do have a video as, as I said I don't know which one would be the first one this one another one but this is when you have situation like that it try to crank the engine but it stops after that okay I already opened this one, I was there on the car and when I diagnosed the car I just was curious to see what the problem is with this one. It's uh, a damage on the board, according to the diagram you have uh, over there plus and, and ground, okay. And another plus, as I said, it is supplied from here, it's uh, yellow and black. Okay, this is this one. If you follow the the truck here, you go to this relay. You will see also in the diagram you have the relay inside on the cast module. And if you pay attention over here, you see this missing truck here who come to this diode. Okay, and also and also the diode, as you can notice. Also, the diode have a strange color. Okay, I already measured the diode, and as I said, diode have problem. Let me to make zoom. You see the missing truck is burnt here. Okay. And this uh, diet have strange color and also resistor nearby, but this diet it's on the short. I can try to uh, repair this diet, but I do have another spare part. Okay, and I don't lose the time trying to diagnose this. This will be another video when we will try to change this um, diet, and also we must to change this relay because also the relay is faulty. You don't feel it, but it's uh, not on the same conditions like um, should be. I mind you have uh, damage over here from the heat. Okay, and definitely this one is uh, is not to leave it here. I didn't search for to see exactly from where the problem it starts. So if it's only this diode and that's it, or the problem starts from somewhere else. Okay, and as I said, we have another spare part here it is similar with this one okay and make a small x on the corner then we see we'll uh, notice this one will be the one who will go on the car now and this is the original one okay at this moment we keep the original here i will read the data and we will transfer to this one okay but to make the video more interesting for you, because I know uh, you like to see when I compare tools. Today we'll read this one, or at least I will try to read this uh, CAS module with different programmers. Let's see which one is uh, better for this kind of job. And for that you have many programmers, but not all of them they will do good job for you. Like for example, you have the old car pro here, okay. We can try also to do our job with UPA. We have our X pro. We have our 
eye pro here. Okay, let me to take this on the side. We have the eye pro. I do have another program who I use it only a few times. It's this one, R270. Okay, this should be also able to read the FRM and CAS. I do have here the CG100. Okay, and on the end, we have CG Pro. These programmers, it should all of them read uh, this issue. I make this uh, processor, okay? All these programmers from here should be able to read this CAS module. Okay, let's see now which one will perform better because we need to clone this one. I don't need only half of the data. I need all of the data, you know? And let's see now if this was a garbage or not. I do have a video and I said to you this, in my opinion, this is a garbage. He do only a few things, but not so much. Upa for his money is quite good. Also the, the car frog and I do have the X frog with a very old version, but he can do very good his job. And let's see now which one will perform better. Okay. First of all, I will, I will start with the CG Pro because I want to be sure I do have 100% the good data. They provide good diagrams. Okay. And first of all, I will start with this one with CG Pro because I want to have full backup. I will save this backup and then after that, we will play with this one. Okay. With the original one. We can read, write. We can also compare the data after that. When we have on the end the damp, we will compare if is the similar reading or is difference when we read this one. Okay, let's put this on the side. And as I said, I will jump directly to the computer and I start the program on the laptop. And now let's go to read this CAS module. And after that, we can play also with another programmers. I read first of all the EEPRO. You have the diagram. This is the adapter. Okay, I manage also to read this one without uh, ground here. I forget to put the ground and uh, I read this one. Maybe on the end of the video, when we are finished with the, um, another programmers, we make also comparing. Okay, and this is uh, the diagram. Okay, and as I said, this is our mask. Let's now proceed to read this EE from. Okay, let's save the data. Now let's proceed to read the P flash. This is the reason why I use the, the first this programmer because he can make a full backup. I trust him. I make many FRM modules and, and also CAS modules. On FRM is not so good. I tell you honest. It's much better to use the another programmer for FRM. It doesn't matter which one, but this one is not so good. And for the CAS is the best one. I have it also before uh, this uh, CG company, the VVDI Pro, and believe me, the CG Pro is much better for a cast job. Okay, I make a, a full backup. I'm sure I do have the full backup, and after that we can play with another programmers. We don't care if something is uh, wrong over here. Every time it can go something bad because the connections they are. I'm sure I said it's too small place to you know to make this solder here. You should be careful. Okay. The readings go very fast to this one with this uh, CG Pro. This one will be also the programmer what I will use to put all this uh, data back on the another uh, CAS will be installed on the car. Okay. For reading and playing, we play with this one with uh, the CAS will have problem. But for put the uh, data back, definitely I will use this one. Okay. Okay. We save also the P flash. Now I have a full backup of this uh, cast and I can move to another programmer. Okay. 
And now I have the programmer connected, the R270 is connected. You should uh, connect this one according to the diagram. I show you exactly now how the diagram it is. It's quite simple. Okay, then here you have plus ground. We have pin 19, 5, 7. Okay, you should follow all these uh, steps here because you have the uh, reset here and here the pin 8 okay and 24 it doesn't show you this connection there now and you'll never manage to do this one because also in, in forums I found uh, nothing related to this one I tell you because I'm trying many times when you see here coaxial wire signal you have the 24 and 8 okay but you will believe you must solder the 24 over here on this um, capacitor and another 8 over here. No, you should twist this wires like here, you, you noticed. I have 24 and 8 together. And on the end you should solder uh, each one on his place. I mean over here. I do have, let me to show, the white one here is the pin 8, the wire number 8, okay? And the red one is 24 in my case, okay? You should make for at least 15-20 centimeters this twisted wires and we can give a try and see if these things works or not. We select our MCU and we will give a try. Yes, we want to check the state of the pin because it will show also which type of uh, MCU we have it. Yes, it's true. Okay. Well, now, if you don't uh, twist the wires, believe me, it will never never works this one okay it doesn't matter what are you trying to do it will never work you see now the reading is started it will verify the data it will start again I don't know, let's say we make a folder on the desktop and we'll save this data. Okay, now let's give also a read for the flash. The reading is started, it will take quite long comparing with uh, another programmers. But on the end, this uh, programmer he can do his job. And as I said, for his money, for BMW is not bad at all. And also for this uh, type of uh, MCU, you find it also in Volvo, you have Mercedes. It's quite good. We will try also another programmers like um, Xprog, UPA and IPROG, but definitely the IPROG, I know from sure it will uh, disappoint us because you don't have uh, information, you don't find connection and also after that if you know and you make the measurements it will not work. And UPA, it can read very good but you should uh, desolder this uh, MCU and put it in adapter, it will work perfectly you know, after that. Also with the Xprog on adapter, it will work perfect. If you will try to write the data with this one, you can go for sleep. It is at least four times slower than reading. Also the 
CG Pro you noticed is very slow when he read but when he write is also very slow and now he will verify actually he will make a second reading we have everything finished he make the comparing and now we will set this one okay let's start the comparing programmer and let's see till now if we have different results or not you noticed we have the same results it doesn't matter which programmer I will use it will be the same or it should be the same from here now we move to another programmer we will try to make the same readings okay and I have the X program also connected you noticed we have the same method okay in the diagram of the East program I will put also a picture on the screen uh, it will tell us to to the white cable here in my case the white one is the ground okay here I have it the uh, 5 volts okay we have plus the black one is minus is the ground okay then we have BKDS the blue one here in the back okay then we have X clock orange one and near to, uh, to him we have reset and we'll keep the same connection you know like uh, we have it also on other programmers X also should be able to read this one as I said is much easier and he will read 100% if it's out of the box and you notice connection is done we don't have the power supply is not needed on Xpro. it doesn't need to have 12 volts like another one now we move to PC to uh, try to read this one and our device is here is the uh, secured one I use this one you can also uh, use it for the connections it's not necessary to uh, disconnect this one from the board it would also show you to make wires uh, together twisted okay as I said try to make uh, it will show you here 12 14 centimeters but longer it is better it is for you then you have no problem with connection okay we give OK, sorry for that, we give a new, then let's try to read this EE prom. You can notice we have readings, I will save the data and I will move to flash, and we select also the flash, and we can give a read. You notice the reading is start. I don't know from the time of reading, but from what I noticed, uh, his prog is much faster than another tools, or at least I believe like that. It can be just my opinion. Maybe yesterday I was too tired on the evening, and for me the programmer seems to work very slow. And also the reading is finished let's try to give a look let's see what he extract yes we do have readings okay we save also this one you notice uh, it's not light anymore because he just uh, stopped the readings we can connect to Hoopa, Carfrog and iProg but I will tell you the three programmers they will not work to read this board on the circuit you should desolder the MCU and read it on adapter and then it's possible uh, it's not necessary to solder all these wires in Carfrog and UPA you should have only four wires connected you should have uh, 5 volts, ground, BKDG and reset only this force and it's enough to read this MCU out of the board okay from here I will jump to PC to write the data back I will use the CG Pro because as I said I'm sure about this programmer it do a good job also this one I used it before 
few years ago I didn't have these programmers and I use a lot of Xprog. It doesn't disappoint me. It's up to you which programmer to use. At least it should do his job. But be careful when you use these clones. It should be just for DIY activity. Don't use it for professional job because all the time it can something bad happens to you know and will be more expensive for you after that.